Hello. Hello. Welcome to our film about fair trade. We're here to persuade your university to become a fair trade university. There's already more than 30 fair trade universities in the UK, from Southampton to St Andrews, and you're in Edinburgh as well. Basically, what a fair trade university does is that it supplies fair trade products in all its outlets and shops. It commits to campaigning on certain fair trade issues and has a steering panel that is in charge of discussing fair trade issues. The thing we're trying to get across in this film is that a uh, fair trade through university is now easier than ever. You can get your fair trade tea and coffee and hot chocolate through uh, Nussle from January this year. That all they're going to supply to, uh, to student unions is fair trade tea, coffee and hot chocolate. So it's really uh, easier than ever. So watch this film and see what you can do to make your university fair trade. Tanzania, for instance, where, where, where in some of these countries I know very, very well, uh, co coffee and uh, the tea growers in Tanzania and uh, in Kenya, they have seen a lot of improvement in their lifestyles. Their children are going to school, their children are now able to pay their medical bills, uh, they are able to invest in cleaner water. This is not a fad, this is not going to go away. This is not some form of, oh, let's do it now because it looks good kind of arrangement. You know, fundamentally at the conference this year, I had a grower who came over from Paraguay who was a sugar grower and I often find that by the growers explaining that what this has done for their education, for their children, clothes, shoes on their feet, it has to be as hard most as that for people to start understand, look, in this western world where we're spending all this money, honestly, a little bit of extra, it's not a lot. I mean, when, when we went fair trade, I think we increased the uh, UK um, consumption of fair trade coffee by 2%, which might not sound about, like much. But if you think that kind of our university did it, then the next university did it, now every university in Scotland's aiming to do that, every university in the UK, um, perhaps every public sector institution might decide to go fair yeah. trade. Now with everybody working together like that, that makes a real difference for people in the third world. I'd say to anybody who's involved as I am in the court of a university, that universities are going to be judged increasingly on their ethics, on their social responsibility and being a fair trade university is going to be one of the most important badges that universities can have. That's why every university should ta start taking the steps to become a fair trade university and not get left behind. The status, yes, that's quite important uh, because it's not just doing it, it's saying in technicolour capital letters associated with your publicity as a university, that you are signed up to this and that you, you're practicing what you preach. And I think that's the message that comes across very well to those who are thinking of coming to the university. You know, this is a university that talks a lot about these issues, that expresses a concern about these issues, and does it, actually puts it into practice. Today's students are the future leaders of tomorrow, uh, and I, I strongly believe that. Uh, Tony Blair was a student, he was a university student one time. And we, have, we, we don't realize that the students in this country now we have a lot of influence. The five million plus students who belong to the union can make a difference tomorrow. They can make a difference in the next five years. They can make a difference in the next 20 years. Because this, these are the same people who, who will be holding key positions in government. And not only that, you come from par families. You can have a lot of influence in your families. You can have a lot of influence in your communities and make a very, very big difference. My impression is that it's entirely down to student campaigning. I don't think we would have status without students having put it forward. And I think there's a bigger issue in here, which is that um, fair trade, the whole Fair Trade Initiative is a wonderful 20th, 21st century example of a movement which has started from the grassroots. It hasn't been driven by governments downwards. It's been driven from the grassroots upwards and it's changing the world. I think fair trade is really important for university. Um, universities are about educating the next generation of leaders and fair trade is a really good way of encouraging people to make that connection between what they're buying and their actions and the effects on other people right across the globe. And so I think it's really important for a university to embrace these opportunities to in, to educate people about the fair trade movement and which in turn I think encourages more thought within people when they're just the effects of their actions. It's good that the uni is fair trade because 
then it's fully supporting and I feel it's kind of showing that the whole body and the whole student people believe this rather than just a few people here and there. Students see an institution and a big and prestigious institution taking note of these issues and clearly making a big deal out of them and working on them, campaigning on them. And this sends a message that it's not only fluffy hippies who are concerned about poverty, it's also um, principals and academics and presidents of, of associations.